So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P145C code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P145C code? Well, the definition can vary depending on which scan tool that you're using, but basically there's a problem going on inside of the EVAP system and the EVAP system takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and sends them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions and the onboard computer seeing a problem with this. So it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why and some possible causes of a P145C code. Well, it could be the purge valve, could be in the wiring, could be the fuel tank pressure sensor, could be an evap leak, could be a charcoal canister, and could be a bad vent valve. And so the basics of what's going on inside the evap system is you got the gas vapors coming from the gas tank and they're going out through a hose. Then they go up to what's called a charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister does a few things. Mainly it stores the vapors when the engine's not running. It also has what's called a control vent valve that the onboard computer uses to test the system and things like this. And then a hose leaves the charcoal canister and it goes up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve. And this purge valve basically opens when the engine's running and then all the gas vapors go in and get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so that they don't escape. There's also a fuel tank pressure sensor usually located on the fuel pump and this is what the onboard computer uses to monitor the whole system. And so the first thing to go and do with any evap code really is to go check the gas cap because the gas cap is a part of the evap system and if it's not sealing correctly then it can cause issues it can cause a leak and so it might be good but go and check it be sure it's not cracked that that inner seal is good and, and things like this if you do replace it try to get an oem original gas cap for your particular honda since sometimes third party aftermarket gas caps sometimes they don't seal correctly so if you can try to get an oem original gas cap if you do replace it and then the next thing to go and check is going to be the purge valve which is going to be up on top of the engine somewhere it's going to have two hoses going to it and a wiring harness and basically what this does is that it just opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors go in and get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape for example here's a 2011 honda odyssey and this hose right here coming up this is coming from the charcoal canister and then when the engine's running this valve opens and then the gas vapors will go up on this hose and go into the intake to get burnt off there's some different ways you go about testing this if you want to there's some good youtube videos on that but the next thing to go and do is either test or replace this purge valve since this is a very common problem with this code and so if you do that the gas cap looks good the purge valve test good the next thing to go and check out is going to be the charcoal canister which is up underneath the vehicle along with the vent valve the next thing to go and do is, is go and check out the charcoal canister and the vent valve which is located on it and basically just check out all these hoses be sure nothing looks like it's leaking there's some different tests that you could do on the vent valve to be sure that it's working and the charcoal canister is going to be located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere it's going to have some hoses going to it and some wiring harnesses and things like this going to it and so there's some different tests that you could do on the charcoal canister mainly what you check is you check the vent valve be sure that it's opening and shutting properly and no hoses look like they're damaged and none of the wiring looks like it's damaged and so if you gone through and you checked all that you checked out the gas cap you checked out the purge valve that charcoal canister looks good that vent valve looks good and tests good then very likely at this point there's a leak going on is that one of these hoses going around to everything and so these leaks can be kind of hard to spot sometimes. Sometimes you can see them. Sometimes you go around and check out all these hoses and see if you see anything broken or cracked or anything. And so sometimes you could spot them. But quite often they can be kind of difficult to find. If you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they'd use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever the smoke came out, they would know where the leak's at. And then they'd be able to fix it. There is some low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. You can even make one of these up yourself for like $5, $10. There's some YouTube videos on how you go out making a smoke machine. But the next thing do is go look for any of these hoses that might be leaking and possibly even the charcoal canister or something along those lines because the leak is going to cause a problem and then the last thing on the list is going to be the fuel tank pressure sensor this is usually located on the fuel pump it can be located differently but it's usually located on the fuel pump and basically this is what the onboard computer uses to monitor the evap system and so if this sensor goes bad there might not be no problem inside the system but the onboard computer thinks there is since the sensor is reporting bad data back to it and so if you check everything else out then go test to replace that fuel tank pressure sensor because it's really going to be the last thing to go and check. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with a P145C code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.